Hey everybody, this is Randy, known as Randy the Wild Horse, and I didn't go to that stupid Osseo uh, class of 82 reunion because, well, first of all, they called me that stupid name Gorgie, and uh, yes, I did uh, talk to him on the class of 82 thing, uh, here's their answer. What it said in my reunion, uh, I will never show up in this or other future reunions because I do not hang around with drinkers, drug users, or tobacco smokers. I only hang around with people who are sober. Oh yeah, the name Gorgi, a name I was given that does not make sense. An imaginative stupid name. For the ones that are hosting this reunion, I want off this list forever. If the answer is yes, you will never hear from me again. The answer, hi Randy. This is from the Facebook group. I have to get rid of the picture. Yep, okay. I honestly don't know how you receive this notice. I know you've asked to be deleted from this group, and I respect that. I received it because I was looking through it because I want to make sure I'm off the list. Okay, you got me off the list. Well, you should have told me before, actually. I just like through every group and I, from Osseo and don't see that you are a member in any of them. No, I wouldn't want to be. I had a problem with inviting people and created the event. Today, some people shared the event and notify others. Whether that isn't how you received it, no, I'm not friends with any of them. I'll continue to see if there's something I could do so you won't see these things in the future. So in other words, they just, they're just they all for money, ladies and gentlemen. They're just all for money. This person wasn't my friend, and that's fine. Yeah, and those people there, they know that I'm, they're, that I'm not going to give them anything. They know that now. Yep, they know it because I smartened up on those on those assholes. Yep. I tell you, I did. Oh, yeah, and after that stupid name, Gorgie, uh, which they never apologize for because uh, those assholes don't give a shit. Oh, yes, uh, in the Osseo Class of 82 reunion page, uh, well, I am going to review it. Uh, you know, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to give it a 4. And no, it's not 4 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 100 because it's awful. It's totally awful. Oh, yeah, well, I got my list on a piece of paper. Uh, they have signs like, well, here for the beer. Oh, yeah, they like to get drunk on beer and, and uh, you know, vodka and orange juice and, oh, Long Island whatevers or, you know, blackberry brandy, Everclear, whatever. They want to screw up their brains. And in about 15 years, they're going to end up in the rest home. Well, there's a couple of cigarette smokers out there, too. They'll be using a little breath thing going... You know, like this. Or they'll be on an oxygen tank. Oh, yeah. In about 15 years, you will be. Well, 20 if you're lucky. You better cross your fingers for 25. You know, because I'll tell you, I've seen people in the rest home. And yeah, and the drinkers and smokers, you know, just like uh, an old friend of mine named Betty Mae Model once said, the drinkers and smokers never get visits. Only the as, only as sober people's kids visit them. That's what, exactly what Betty told me, a wise woman. And, uh, oh, yeah, they, they, they're, they're a lot of those people there. They, like, bullied me and stuff like that. Uh, oh, there's that one guy that was there. He called me a woman, a gay boy, a faggot, a cocksucker. Oh, yeah. Oh, he called me a retard. He, he lived in my block. He's a... A real fucking shithead, you know, here, here, fuck you. And you know what I'm talking about there. And there's that other guy, he made up the name, he called me Yundi and stuff like that. And, uh, oh yeah, he kicked me in science class in junior high, he followed me around in Osseo, annoyed me, bothered me. He's the one that uh, smashed the porch light in our house, so he vandalized our house with eggs. And, oh, threw toilet paper at our house too. And... And uh, dented my car. Well, one of those idiots did in that reunion. They did in our cars. They did in my Catalina. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They wrecked my 88. They didn't care. And my dad blamed me for everything on that. You know how that goes. Oh, yeah. And also, there's an ex friend there. Uh, it was in the 10th grade. Yeah. He's the one that threw me on the gym floor, tossed me around, let go of me, had me flying. I mean, I tried to get away by up kipping, kicking the guy like they do in mixed martial arts, but his hands were too quick. He could have been a mid-minor leagues mar mixed martial arts fighter at least. That's how good that guy was. He was my friend, but he turned on me. He owes me money. Uh, he, 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 
he, he took the hubcap out of my 74 Catalina of it after it fell off and I asked, could I have it back? He charged me $4 for my own hubcap. Four bucks for my own hubcap. That's a classless asshole if you ask me. Yeah? You know, he was basically no friend. He owes me money too. And, you know, a, a real ass wipe. Here, there's the finger to you too. And, uh, oh yeah, Gertrude Moondust was there. Gertrude was an ex-friend of mine from Northview and sort of from Osseo, but uh, she decided to hate me, and, and that, that's fine. I, I've had backstabbing turncoats before. Oh, yeah, it, it doesn't really matter, because I don't give a shit, because I've learned the older I get, the less I really care, you know, what other people think. Only real friends do. Oh, yeah, as far as the lookout bar is concerned, where they're at, uh, yeah, it is a nice place, so I'll give it that. But, you know, the kind of food they serve, it's not really healthy. It's a lot of fried stuff there that I can't really eat. You know, I'm not saying all their food is bad. I'm sure they have some food there that is good for you. But they have a lot of those French fries and fried onion rings and hamburgers off the grill. You know, stuff that isn't really good for you, you know. I'm not saying all the Lookout Grill is bad. Now, you want to sue me, go ahead. I got my 97 Buick Park Avenue you can have. It's probably worth $300. And then speaking of the Park Avenue, if I brought that over there, they'd be saying, Oh, goody, that Park Avenue's a piece of shit. Look how ugly it is. Ugh. Oh, yeah, they'd be putting me down. They'd say my hat is stupid and ugly. They'd call me ugly, too, you know. Oh, goody, you got, you got a bunch of gray hair. Yeah. You should color your hair so you look better. But you know what? You go ahead and color your hair because if you lie to the younger people, they're not going to buy it anymore because they can look up on Google your age now if you say your first and last name. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and you'd be in class of 82, too. And speaking of that, a lot of those people, they just look old. They look old, they look ugly. I mean, I'm ugly myself. Oh, yeah, and some of them say, you know, oh, oh, you look 20, 30 years younger. Well, I got a question for you ladies. Do I look 20 or 30 years younger? Do I look like a model? Oh, no, you're laughing. Ah, Randy, you? <laughs> you know, no, nah, you look old, Randy. You look my, look like my father and my uncle. Well, that's fine. I don't care, you know? And also... Yeah, they just, you know, they gossip about stuff. They'll gossip about their neighbor's lawn. They'll get mad at some group home moving in because it lowers their property values. Oh, yeah, they'll all talk about some slimy family bad clothes. Oh, they should move in the poor side of Minneapolis. And, oh, yeah, then they'll talk about how, oh, uh, Brooklyn Center, Brooklyn Park is falling apart. They got a lot of the rummies going to high school now. A bunch of low lifes, and uh, oh, and they talk about they're so much better. And I'll cut down today's music. I'll say, oh, music got bad ever since Madonna came around. Oh, oh, I don't like Madonna, but actually, they're jealous of Madonna because she has a lot of money. Because I'll tell you, if Madonna showed up over there, they'd be going on their hands and knees and try to lick her feet, and Madonna wouldn't let them because she has too much class for them. Oh, yeah, and they'll, and they'll put down other people, too, you know. They, they don't like gays and lesbians. They're like, yeah, if some singer turns gay and says they're gay and lesbian, they'll be mad. Uh, uh, you know, they'll go on and on about that, too. That's the way they are. You know, they're a bunch of snobby motherfuckers and stuff like that. They're, they're, they're classless assholes. Yeah, yeah, some of those people looked really, really bad. I mean, some of them used to look better than me in high school, to be honest with you. But their, 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 their looks went to hell because of too much drinking and drug use, you know, and uh, a poor diet, too. I mean I, I mean, I don't look like a model myself, but I look better than a lot of them. Because I, I quit serious drinking, like, over 20 years ago, like that time when I was in Western North Dakota with my father, seen at the Best Western. Yeah, the, the place was connected to a bar. My dad invited me to drink with him. I did. I drank screwdrivers and shots of blackberry brandy. I threw up in the hotel room half the night. And that was the last time I seriously drank. And I said, no more of that. That's what I said. 
But a lot of those classless assholes, what they don't realize, the heavy drinkers and tobacco smokers and the drug users, is in 15 years at least, you're going to be in the rest home and your kids won't visit you. It's going to happen. Your kids aren't going to care. I'm being honest with you. You can laugh at me all you want. Oh, oh yes, and speaking of that, uh, the, the classmates that were missing there, a lot of those people were my friends and they had class. Oh, yeah, those are the ones that were real nice to people and treated people real well. Even some of my enemies there were kind of all right because they didn't owe me money or beat me up as well as other people. They didn't do that, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I never went. It's just funny, you know, after 20 years of them ignoring me, they decided the 25th because I guess they figured that my mom and dad are ready to die and leave me with inheritance money. But they didn't leave me with anything. And I'm, I'm poor and broke, so so those uh, leeches can uh, just forget about it, you know. And, uh, yeah, you know what they remind me of? Okay, there's an episode in the Twilight Zone called The Masks. Have you ever seen that? Okay, there's this family surrounding this one guy ready to die. Yeah, they most of them act like that one lady who plays that, act, that one that plays the actress, the hypochondriac. Most of them act like her, a real classless and caring person. That's the way most of them act. I wouldn't. Oh yes, and speaking, speaking of that. Uh, oh yeah, they were offering rooms for two hundred dollars a night. I mean, these assholes were offering each other rooms to stay for the night. Maybe they make a deal, $20, $40 a day, or maybe help buy the groceries a little bit. You see, in Minneapolis, a lot of people do that, you know, uh, especially family members. Oh, I'll stay at my house overnight. Well, I had Uncle Buck when my dad traveled to Montana. He let him stay at his place overnight. Oh, yeah, or two nights with with uh, my lady on Alma. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. People just don't really help each other anymore. It's just too much selfishness. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I don't want to know their kids neither, because a lot of their kids are, I'm sure they're in trouble, in jail, in prison, or whatever. You know, I don't even want to know them. Oh, yeah, and as far as you class of 82 people are concerned, uh, I'm going to say it again. Fuck you. Kiss my ass. Go to fucking hell. And, and you can go eat my back door meat surprise, too, because you, you all suck and I need it. So fuck off.